Last week, I put out a video on DaVinci Resolve for iPad where I said this. Guys, where are all the audio tools? Well, it turns out I was wrong. Sort of. Kind of. Let's talk about it. So, as we all know by now, good audio is one of the most important parts of making a good video. So, it was no surprise that I was a little disappointed that there was no Fairlight page in the iPad version of DaVinci Resolve. In fact, on first look, it looked as though there were no audio tools whatsoever other than Voice Isolate, Dialog Leveler, and clip level EQ. Well, it turns out I was wrong about that. If you go into the cut page, click on effects, and then on audio, you'll find all of the native Fairlight plugins that are available in the full version of DaVinci Resolve. That can be applied at both the track and the individual clip level. Okay, so that's all well and good, but here's the question. How do you use these tools to get decent sounding dialogue? And how do you make sure that your videos are loud enough for YouTube? I guess technically that's two questions. Let's tackle the first one, shall we? The first thing that we're going to want to do is activate voice isolation and dialogue leveler. There aren't really optimal settings here since everyone's audio is different, so just set them to what you need to. Once that's done, we can move on to the audio effects tab to actually shape our audio. Now, there are two different effects that are really good at doing this, vocal channel and dialogue processor. It doesn't really matter which one of these tools you use, but I will say this, both the vocal channel and the dialogue processor have a compressor, so you have to be very careful because compressors mixed with the dialogue leveler tends to have interesting results. To avoid this, I'd suggest not activating the compressor. Other than that, tweak the settings of your chosen tool until you like the way your dialogue sounds. And that answers the first question. Now let's talk about making our dialogue loud enough for YouTube. There's no exact science to this, but I've found that if you target your dialogue for between negative five and negative three dB, you'll be in that minus 14 luffs range that YouTube is looking for. To hit that target without going over, we're going to use a limiter. So back in DaVinci Resolve, find the limiter in your audio effects tab and drag it onto your audio track. Then in the limiter, set your threshold for minus five dB, then increase the input gain until you start regular hitting that minus 5 dB mark. You won't want it consistently hitting it because that would mean you're clipping, but if you're peaking at minus 5 dB with the dialogue leveler on, you should be good. Now, hopefully they'll be adding more audio features in DaVinci Resolve for iPad in the future. Maybe even a full Fairlight page. In the meantime, to see my first impressions of the iPad version of DaVinci Resolve, click here. And until next time, don't forget to go out and make stuff. Thanks for watching.